There are two types of timelines that you can be asked in your financial maths questions. And the first one is if additional money is going in or out of the account. Um, so in this case, 120,000 Rand is deposited into a savings account. And two years later, a further deposit of 6,000 Rand is added to the savings. Calculate the amount of money in the savings account at the end of six years if the interest rate is 8% per annum compounded monthly. All right, the interest is being compounded, okay, and 120,000 Rand is going in in the beginning. Two years later, another 6,000 Rand is added to the account, and we want to know how much is in the account at the end of six years. And the interest is 8% per annum, and we're going to compound it monthly. All right, so the 8% we're going to write as a decimal, so 0, 0,08. And because it's compounded monthly, we're going to compound it 12 times. All right, as um, I said a couple of minutes ago, it's compound interest. So we're going to use our compound interest formula. All right, and this, these two things, we're not going to take 120,000 Rand and put it there for two years. We're actually going to consider them as two completely different investments. You end up getting the same total at the end of the year, at the end of six years. It's just easier to do it this way. So the 120,000 Rand is going to be there for the full six years. All right. Um, so in my exponent, I've got a six. But then because it's being compounded monthly, I'm going to divide the interest rate by 12, but multiply the years by 12 because it's happening 12 times each year. But then I've got another investment going into the account of 6,000 Rand. And that 6,000 Rand is going to be there for four years. So I'm going to add another investment to the account. And again, um, because it's monthly, you're going to divide by 12 and in your interest rate, and you're going to multiply your years by 12. And if you type it into your calculator, you should get a final answer of 201874,26. So just consider it as two completely separate investments. In this next example, 80,000 Rand is deposited into a savings account and 18 months later, 14,000 Rand is withdrawn from the account. Okay, so now we've got money going out of the account after a year and a half. We've got to calculate the amount of money in the savings account at the end of four years if the interest rate is 11% per annum compounded quarterly. Okay, we're going to set up a timeline. It just does make it easier to have a look at how much time we've got on the timeline. So 80,000 Rand goes in, but then 14,000 Rand is withdrawn after a year and a half. And it's a very good idea to rather put your 14,000 Rand on the opposite side of the timeline. Don't write it as a negative 14,000, rather just write it on the other side of the timeline. And that is removed from the timeline. And we want to know how much we've got at the end of four years. Okay, so we're going to treat this exactly the same as in the previous question. It's compounded quarterly, so it's going to happen four times. So 11% is 0 0.11, and because it's happening four times in the year, I'm going to multiply my years by four and divide my interest by four. All right, so it's compound interest. And again, we are going to consider that the 80,000 Rand is actually there for the full four years. All right, so 80,000 Rand is going in, interest rate is 0 0.11, and we are going to divide that interest by 4 and multiply the years by 4. And then 14,000 Rand is going to come out of the account. And the way we cope it best with this so that the calculation is easier is by taking 14,000 Rand out of the account, it's no longer going to earn any interest. So how long is it not going to be earning any interest for? Well, it's not going to earn interest for two and a half years. So 14,000 Rand is going to come out, and it's coming out for two and a half years. All right, so that's the interest that we're in effect losing on that money. So we're losing interest for two and a half years. So if money's coming out, don't consider how long was it there in the first place. Consider how much time or how much interest is being lost. And you should type it in exactly as you see it, and you should end up with a final answer of 105.117.64. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.